talk to me what where are you at now with your training like are you still bodybuilding doing your, the bodybuilding thing or are you just kind of you know going in the gym a couple of times a week just to stay fit like where are you at with that so no gym at all i just train in my basement when i do train okay. and it's very minimalistic i'm training like a like a typical just like a passive gym bro nowadays uh i just do the bench like three or four sets on the bench for chest pyramiding up i'll do curls some skull crushers shoulder stuff um some abs things like that but that's it it's usually just like one exercise per muscle group short sweet in and out and then i started like running lightly just to get cardio in and stuff like that and then when i work out honestly right now i do want to kick it back up again because the dad bod's coming in strong now but when i work out it's it's once or twice a week lately wow okay so and do you find that you've been able to maintain you said the dad bod but okay body putting yeah. on body fat and maintaining muscle those are kind of two different things yeah do you feel like you've maintained a lot of your muscle just doing that yeah definitely definitely that's the beauty of having trained for so long um right. the muscle doesn't just disappear right away and the muscle memory is very real too so if you ever st do start deflating you just kick up kick it up a little bit and then you know the muscle starts to fill back out again so yeah, I I think for how little I train right now, I think I've maintained it pretty good. And thank goodness for my leg genetics. I don't have good genetics for bodybuilding at all. Everyone knows that, except for my legs. My legs were always the one part of me that was like genetically gifted. And I haven't trained them in a year and a half now, but they're still pretty damn big. Like it still looks like I train them regularly, thankfully. <laughs> so you do nothing, like not even a maintenance level dose of stimulus. Nothing for legs it's wow. besides running, besides running. It's something that nags me a little bit because I, I don't want to be that guy who does no leg training, but I've been doing this thing all my life. Like I've been training all my life. It's been my life and my job for so long and people don't realize how long. I'm talking like in the middle of high school, I was bringing Tupperwares into school and like skipping social events to train and stuff like that. And it set me up for a lot of success in my 20s, but like it's been my life forever and my job forever. So I'm really enjoying just like taking a break from the training part of my life for the last year or so. So I'll get back right. into leg training eventually. I don't want to ever have chicken legs, but uh, it's been a nice break. And thankfully, my leg genetics make it so it looks like I still train legs. Thank you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. Could have been the opposite, right? Where you have good upper body genes and no leg genes. And then it's like, you know, the guy, uh, it's like. You know how it is, man. Like for the yeah. guy who has no arms and if he doesn't train arms for like, you know, two weeks or a week, it's like, where, where did the arms go? Right. So oh, man, I'd rather, yeah. I, I would rather that than have the, the poor leg genetics for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's more fun to abuse upper body training. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. And give us your top five. Cause we've had this on the podcast before I've asked a few guys who I know are hip hop heads yeah. like myself. Yeah. What's give us your top five. Okay. So I've thought about this before. My top five go by who I found myself listening to the most okay. uh, as opposed to a category because you can break hip up into too many categories. Who's the top five lyrically, 